what's going on everybody so today i'm going to be showing you how to take off your wiper arm and also the cowl that's underneath it you'll need a slot head screwdriver or as i call it a flat head screwdriver to pop that plastic cap off all right so you're going to stick your flat head within that slot and just pop it right on up easy peasy as you can see it got three tabs underneath it right here we got mr rusty and for this you're going to need a 5 8 socket and also a 3 8 drive ratchet now guys you want to make sure your ratchet is set up for you to turn this screw counterclockwise i believe i might have it set wrong right here i'm not sure but just make sure that you're going counterclockwise you can do the rest with your hands as well as i'm doing right here now if you know how to clean the rust off of these screws hey i salute you now right here you see this black piece this is actually a part of the um <laughs> wiper arm so don't try to take that off and right now what we're going to do is a method called the cpr method where you press down and what that does is it loosens the arm up i use the hammer for this i know they got another tool that uh people use for wiper arms but a hammer works just as great so in order for me to get my ham my hammer underneath it i had uh did a cpr method again stuck it under like that pull it back and was able to pop off all right guys so if you thought that was easy let's head over to our second arm it's going to be just as easy all right same thing we're going to pop that plastic cover off unscrew mr rusty and then uh we should be able to get that arm off Now with this one, you have a bit of a uh, clear view of where to put the hammer at. So you can do it on this side, driver's side, or it might be better to do it on the passenger side. I done took this thing off so many times, so I know for a fact on the passenger side, it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to rock it back and forth. And if it's uh, not coming up, just CPR it again, and it should pop off. So I already kind of got it up, but I'm just showing you from a different angle how you can do it. Rock it back and forth. And it should pop off. All right, guys. So you see these black tabs right here? We're going to take them off as well. There's about eight of them. You got some right here in the middle. All right, so you're going to take your flat head. You're going to pop the top part off first and make sure you use your hand. I don't want you losing it or dropping it under the hood or in the vents. Then you'll take your base off. All right, so you see here, I took all of them out. And um, yeah, so make sure you don't miss the ones that's on the outside. It's one on this side and one on the passenger side. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now we're about to take our gaskets off. We got this little sponge-looking couch right here. I call it a couch. It looks like a little couch, okay? So I'm going to take this off, and then I'm going to pull this hose back. All right, now I'm going to take the gasket that's on the cowl off. Just pull it right on off. And then you want to do the same thing on the passenger side. Now, when we take the cowl off, I recommend starting from the edge. And the reason why is because you have a trim, a black trim that's going across underneath the window. And you do not want to pull that off. So, it will be best interest if you just unbuckle everything first. Before trying to snatch it out. Because I don't want you pulling anything um or breaking anything so now we're on the passenger side we're going to do the same thing we're going to start from the very corner and just work our way out and as you see on this side it clamps right on top of the other side so that's why i recommend trying to pull the one on the passenger side off before you pull the one on the driver's side off a little bit dusty <laughs> all right we're gonna clean it up and if you didn't know you have a cabin air filter on the passenger side and um, i think it's supposed to keep your air clean 
All right, now let's take the other half off. Now, remember, you want to be easy, guys. You don't want to pull that uh, window trim off. Pop it off the first screw, then pop it off the second screw. All right, so you see that trim that's going across the window? That's where you want to be careful at, guys. All right, right here, you got your uh, wiper motor, wiper linkage. And I got a video on this as well. So if your windows, I mean, not your windows, so if your wipers is not um, parking correctly or they stop working, um, this may help you. Speaking of wipers, when putting your cow back on, that's going to be the most important part because that gave me hell. I'm telling you, I had to take this apart about five or six times before I got the blaze right. So I recommend you marking it or trying to remember where your blaze is supposed to go. And as you see on this linkage, I got the arm angled at a four o'clock direction. So remember, guys, make sure your wiper blaze is put on correctly. That is very, very, very important. Very important. All right. So now we're going to reverse it and we're going to start with putting the cow on the driver's side first. And the same thing, we're going to insert it to the edge first. And then we're going to work our way out as far as inserting it back within the window trim. All right, now we're going to put the second part on. We're going to slide it in on the edge. Start with the edges first. Make sure you go within the trim easily. And then remember, this clamps on top of the second half. So make sure your edges is in good. All right, now we got our cow back in. Now it's time to put the wipers back on. Now to put these in, you want to do the CPR method again. And the reason why, because... It will lock it back in as well. You're going to put your screws back in. And a good part about this part, you don't need no hammer. <laughs> Just put your screws in. Tighten it up good enough. Don't tighten it too much to where you'll strip your uh, screw. But just enough to lock it back in. Now we're going to put the plastic covers back in. And it's easy. All you got to do is just click it back in there. Put your other plastic cover back in and just click it right on in. All right, last not least, you're going to put your base in first. And then you're going to put your tab within the inside of that base. Now, if you could put both of them in there that have at it, um, it was kind of hard for me to do. So I just broke them apart and put them back in the same way. All right, so now we got all eight back in our cow. Going to put our holes back in here. Boom, bam. Now we're going to put our cow gasket back on. And just press down on it just a little bit. That way it can lock back on. All right, now we're going to put these little sponge things. I don't know what they call it. It looks like a sponge couch. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to put them back in place. We're going to put the other one back on the driver's side as well. 